generic YouTube introduction. Just a quick video talking about some of the differences and some of the confusions between the IOTEX ERC20 token and the native IOTEX token. Essentially when IOTEX was released it ran on the Ethereum ecosystem. Now it's its own layer 1 solution with its own native token. Uh, some exchanges offer the ERC20 token, some offer the native token and due to these being completely separate tokens on different networks the price has actually become unpegged so these two coins now trade for two different prices which again causes lots of confusion in the community I see lots of reddit posts lots of uh, lots of comments on on Facebook etc lots of telegram questions asking what's going on with these tokens which one do I buy what's the deal so basically they're looking to phase out the AERC 20 tokens so even though they're a little bit more expensive right now this is just due to liquidity shortages because Coinbase is, is selling ERC20 tokens and IOTEX is trying to bridge them all out. This causes a shortage. The difference is not that big right now. So the ERC20 is currently going for 3.1 cents and the natives going for 2.8 cents. So quite a difference. If you, this is um, a blog post they posted a while ago in 2019. So a lot of this is outdated. These links don't work. You can go on IOPay, there's an app called IOTube, which is a bridge between Ethereum and IOTEX, and you can't go both ways. So everyone's thought it, why don't you just buy these ones, bridge them over to Ethereum and sell them for more. Well, they don't let you go from IOTEX to Ethereum, they only let you go from Ethereum to IOTEX. So if you do have some of these ERC20 tokens, I strongly suggest you do not do that and you sell them and then transfer them or you know, sell them into USDT, transfer that over and then buy the native tokens because you'll get more for your buck. It's a, it's a reasonable difference, a few, few percentages. Of course, it depends on many tokens you have. Um, these warnings, I'm not sure if these are real anymore because on IOPay you can have Ethereum tokens and Ethereum wallet. So I believe if you send ERC20 tokens to your IOTEX address, it'll just go to the Ethereum of your wallet but of course of course exercise caution if you're doing this i think that's everything we're in late q3 that they're not all phased out yet there's still a lot of exchanges offering these i think coinbase really wants to just because they operate in an ethereum system so it's easier hopefully during the next bull run they sort this out as always thanks for watching any comments let me know see you next time